Hi, and welcome to From Flash to Quart. My name is Jorge Escobar, and I'm super excited to introduce you to a new dimension in the world of Python web development. I'm talking about asynchronous Python development. Introduced with Python version 3.7, the asynchronous I.O. library, also called AsyncQ, allows developers to write code that runs concurrently as opposed to sequentially, which translates into a higher throughput of your application in situations where response time and speed are really important. Programming with Async does require a different way of thinking on how you develop your code, and we will go over those idiosyncrasies as we develop, step by step and from simple to complex, different asynchronous applications that will introduce you to these new concepts. The start of this course is the Quart Web Framework. Built on top of the Flask Micro Framework, Quart shares a lot of the common functionality you're already used to working with in Flask, but under the hood has converted the low-level API functions to work in a synchronous fashion, bringing the best of two worlds together. We will also have a chance to work with asynchronous database libraries like AIO MySQL and Motor, which allows your async applications to talk to both MySQL and MongoDB databases. We will also explore some of the front-end communication channels that leverage your async applications on the JavaScript side, which will produce hyper-responsive web applications for your users. So let's begin our journey to the new world of async Python web development.